One of the things growing up in a permaculture homestead has taught me is that you have to listen to the land and what it's telling you to do and how to get things set up in a more correct way. So that is something we're working on today. It may not be the permanent solution, but it is another temporary solution to help us get closer to our permanent goals. We have secured our shelter. We're gonna be raising it up on the barn side so that water will shed off when it comes on off the barn. Eventually, long-term goals is to have gutters on our barn, but obviously that's not something we can do right away. So we're gonna get the shelter a little bit more wind block from the side of the barn. And we've brought our fence along the side of the barn and we're in the process of bringing it out to a further pull where it can house more space for the goats without doing too many major changes. Again, we're still using our temporary fence. We have not put up hard fence. We are playing with it as we go and adjusting things to make it work best for us. We thought having the chickens go in with the goats and rotating them together was gonna work out beautifully. But unfortunately, our goats decided that those looked like fun goat trampolines. And now we're having to do some repairs and moving the poultry. We'll be moving the poultry down by the red bud out of Titus's reach so that he won't turn that into a trampoline and uh, make it easier for me when I feed the buck on that side. I'll be able to feed the chickens and Titus is going to be able to guard them from any predators. Goats are enjoying some free time, free ranging while we're here to keep an eye on them and make sure they stay close while we get some work done here on our new homestead. <laughs> it is so hard getting projects done and filming with a baby. I got Ryan to move the birds a little bit further out of the way so that we could put up the fence the rest of the way. But Odin needed a diaper change and a nursing. So I had to put the camera down and not help for a little bit. Titus don't mind, he wants to help the baby. <laughs> Is much better. I think the goats approve of this extra added space so we've added all this space in here. We'll get to that old fence soon to take it down but we're just trying to get our priorities situated today. So we've got T-posts holding down the fence in every section so that they don't go under it. Happy goats. Step in that poop. Our quail have had awesome quarters in my she shed. But now it's time for that to end because all this garden stuff needs to go in there because this is going to be my garden shed and I can't wait to make it mine. So over here, we have what used to be an old chicken coop 
That is nice, sturdy poles. Very, very secure. Can't move them. And no wire on any of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come off of the roof line down to here with a roof and our quail will go in this space here. Composting bugs. I'm gonna have to keep those roosters out of here now. That's the worst poop. Well, poop's easy to scoop up. The rooster poop is squelchy. Boy, is that going to feed our garden good. You know, they sell feather meal. All of the molted feathers as nutrition. All of the poop, high nitrogen. Oh yeah, Mama's got a cool old potting mix. What you doing, Ryan? Taking these screws out so we can get rid of this piece of trimming to be able to fit the steel table inside of this room. Yay! Is it going to fit or do we need to take the other side off too? Got to do both. But it will fit once we do both. I'm pretty confident that it will fit. Alright. Will it fit? I sure hope so because this would be the perfect <gasps> body table. Ready to test it, Ryan? Let's test it. Are you dry? I am dry. And it's coming off the other end. Water's being shed. Perfect. Ah, that's a bit better. Not perfect. But we are getting better all the time. Got a few of my garden things in here. Start to feel more like home. <laughs> well, pretty good day out here on the homestead. I'd say so. Set a game plan, put it to action. Got, got a bunch of stuff done. Not perfect yet, but much better than it was before. I feel, I feel pretty good about it. I think we got a lot done. 
the goats are going to be happier, the quail are going to be happier, and Mama's going to be happier because she got her she shed. That's always good, right? That, that, that's, that's what was the most important anyway. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.